Haut, Tourist Hotspot. Famous for many things, including its pubs, picturesque scenery, golf courses. But for me personally, it's the reputation the village has for its fresh seafood and fishing heritage that has us out here today. Here we are now on the West Pier in Hout and being the village that it is, it's renowned for its fish and we are going to go and speak to what would, many would consider an institution here on the pier, Nikki of Nikki's Place. Santa Maria, both the same with the herring fishing. There was a great herring fishing here years ago, and the boats were um, beam to beam right across from the East Pier to the West Pier. Well, they were make at that time they were making smoke money. Smoke or pure? Were they smoked or pure? Well, or? No, the herrings when they bring them in, they they barrel the herring, salt the herrings, and there was a big German lover out there, and he take them away. Now a lot of the herrings was taken down here. Neddy Reed, Lord and Marshall, and owned the Kipper House. And he used the smoke. And when you come down in the morning, the, the smoke coming out and the smell of the fresh herrings, there was a certain aroma of it. And if you went up what I call the town, a lot of them claim it's the village now, but I'm still saying it's the town. <laughs> when we go up there, every door in the old, and everyone would have herrings on the pan. And, uh, the King Citric. The, the King Citric. Well, I know he supplies that because I supply the King Citric when I was on the go too. Well, the King Citric, aiding in the King Citric is very accommodating. So yeah, I'm actually. Nice. I'll, I'll be heading over to have a chat. Well, with, fair with use to him. You can ask him, and I know he aiding only picks the best of fish. Yeah. Uh, and he, I can he's tell you, he's built he, his reputation. He's, great, he's built his reputation, and this I say to the boys all the time. You want to, to fish and you want to say very, very fresh and without that, only you only sell fresh beer. And if it's not if it's not any way right, you throw it away. Still, we're still extremely lucky that we still get fresh fish landed in Holt. You know, it doesn't all come in by trucks. Uh, there's still fishing boats coming in here. Not as many. Yeah. Not as many as we used to have. I mean, I believe there are photographs of uh, in the 18th century when the, the sailing fishing vessels were chasing the herrings. They say you could walk across the harbour on the boats, that there were so many of them coming in. And I can vaguely remember from my youth coming out, we, I was born in Clontarf and Holt was a very regular uh, visitor, uh, cycling out and everything else. But they used to do a huge amount of salting and, and brining on the, on the pier in the barrels. And nearly all of the uh, houses over there were all smokeries. And the smell was just amazing. You know, you could even smell it in Clontarf well, if the wind was blowing in that direction. You know, Nicky uh, said it would be uh, kippers on the pan yeah. first thing in the morning. Yeah, you could smell it in every house. Uh, absolutely, you know. I mean, yeah. it's like if you go up to Guinness's in the hop store, you smell the brew. <laughs> Holt was there. And yeah. the host here used to have that smell of the smoking. That was marvelous. 
and uh, I think there's only one killing left, and an in, in, in original killing left, and that's Nicky's. Over the years, I mean, fish. Be, we became a sort of a fish restaurant. Uh, we put the wording in after one of these American Express um, conferences that we were went to, where the gurus would tell you, you know, what is King City? What does it mean to anybody? You know, you should really sort of emphasize what you're doing. So at that, we changed it from King Citric to uh, King Citric, the f seafood or the fish restaurant. You know. We forgot to congratulate you. Recently inducted into the, uh, the Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame yeah. at the, this year's Food and Wine Awards, was it? It was, yeah. Yeah, Congratulations. Joan, and, Joan and myself, we were, we were very chuffed, now I can tell you, you know. Um, and it's not just for longevity. <laughs> um, it's been a recognition of for what we've actually been putting into this business for so many years. Definitely, yeah. Uh, we also got the, uh, from the Restaurant Association at the last AGM in March, we got their the Mike Butt Award, uh, which again is for recognition for uh, contribution to the association and its causes. and yeah, Truly so deserved, yeah. yeah. You've noticed downstairs you've uh, recently renovated and mm. uh, a new cafe. Mm. Would you like to uh, explain the talk behind it? And, the, and sure, yeah. The, it, it, the East Cafe Bar was born out of necessity. The, the restaurant business upstairs was and particularly uh, out of town. Fine dining is, is 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 is. I won't say it's dying, but it's it's losing flavour with an awful lot of people. Today's uh, diner just doesn't want to spend four or five hours over a meal, uh, and fine dining, you know, the perception of white tablecloths and so on, it, it, is. It, it is, not nearly as good as what it used to be. We've cut our prices. We've. Uh, brought uh, prices down hugely since 2008 um, and still we're not you know we're as competitive as any other restaurant mid-market restaurant but we're st perception is that we're still an expensive place so we had a very fine cellar downstairs as you may remember I do remember it well and uh, we had a lot of money tied up in it which I couldn't afford any longer and again, you just could, we couldn't afford to keep that luxury there anymore. And change so we tried to do, uh, we tried to open that wine cellar as a sort of a, 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 a little wine bar downstairs. And we called it a Hugel wine bar. Hugel was our house wine supplier from Alsace. And I thought, in my naivety, you know, if I opened the doors, people would just come in, and it's a natural sort of wine cellar. It must be a natural wine bar, uh, and you could sit there. We serve food down there, steak and chips, and fish and chips, and pates and terrines and so on. And the first week, a few people came in, all right, because friends and whatever to see what we were doing. Well, you haven't done much, Aiden, you know. And uh, we're confused. We're coming in the same door as we're going to the restaurant, and you know, it, it's uh, you're confusing us really more so than doing it. And so we yeah. sat down again and had a good think about it and got in uh, some expert advice. And that advice was to open the old front door, get rid of the wine cellar, put in a sort of cafe bar, and, and it's paid off. So it is paid off big time. Yeah, it, it's definitely the, the way dining trends are going. It, it is, is sure, it sure is. It's it's just it's amazing. So our next port of call is what was previously the pier house and has now been reinvented by the proprietor Simon O'Connell, and we're going to have a chat with him about Holt and all things seafood. It's one of the buildings here, I mean it's one of the oldest buildings in Holt, it's here well over 100 years, you know, in the 1800s it was here. Wow, I didn't know that. Was that. A, yeah, it was, a, it was a hotel, it was Butson's Hotel, it was actually, originally it was a, um, a couple of houses, and then it became a, a sort of a hotel, kind of guest house sort of place, Butson's, and it, the front has remained the same the whole way through, it hasn't, hasn't changed at all. 
and then slowly through the years it changed its identity and became a pub back in the, I think it was 71 or 72, um, a, a family took it over, then another family took it over and became the Pier House and uh, it ran as the Pier House for up until, up until you know, a few, few years ago recently, yeah. But it was a well established place now. It was a really good drinker's pub. You know, Great for a point. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's always known as the best best point to hold. So hopefully it still will be if we can. You've continue continued that anyway, yeah? Oh, we're trying. We're trying. We're trying. Uh, and how it's always been known, you know, how to come for a point, you know. Yeah, well, good it's. social. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's such a great spot. You know, you've got all of this out in front of you. You're surrounded by the sea. It's a peninsula, obviously. And then the dart of the bus brings you straight back out. And there's just strip of restaurants and bars and that have all been there for a very long time and they you know they, they've used the best of what's around fish you know and meat that for example for ourselves we get all our meat directly off Lamb Bay Island there and local butchers colliers so when you're sitting here having a bit of beef or a burger from the island, yeah. yeah you're just looking out the window at it you know so you can nearly see you can see where the cows came from you know really the yeah, cows yeah, over there, yeah that, that's that's the cattle over there we, we even have some of the guys there um actual distant relations of ours that that um run the boats to the island and that and uh, run the, the angling boats and sometimes they send people in who've just caught the fish and we let them cook it here we cook it for them and they can sit down and eat it you know so Brilliant. yeah that's it's nice it's nice for the tourists you know it's something a little bit different yeah, they can cook that's and, good, got yeah. And, and eat it you know so um, and that you know changing from the pier house into what is now o'connell's yeah you know did you have to come up with many ideas to yeah, well, attract I, people or this opportunity came up and we we, we kind of went for it and um, mm, yeah. We just put we put a lot into it, put everything we had. Try, the idea really was to get it back to what it was when it was the pier house kind of you know twenty years ago. It was a good old traditional pub. Welcoming. And welcoming, and just friendly, clean, um, good point, good bit of food. The best point. Best point. Best point. The best point. Best you see the future and um, yourself? Um, I think there's huge potential in Holt. I mean, Holt is, it is a great place. You're right on the sea, you have public transport in and out. Um, you know, there's, everywhere you look, there's, there's amazing views, there's amazing walks, there's lovely restaurants, lovely bars, there's uh, it's full of nice people in Holt, um, and it's a well-kept, maintained area. You know, there's, there's lots of potential for it, and I think it'll only grow.